Okay, here we are. Now we're recording. I had a few problems. Anyway, this is a cat situation at around 5 o'clock. How you doing, Floyd? Oh, he's a good boy. Oh, yeah, I can pet you when you're eating. There's one of the kittens I'm going to catch right before the appointment. I can't remember exactly what it is right now, but I can pet them and they like, I don't care, I'm starving to death. Which they're not. You can see they're all fat as fat can be. Yeah, about two pounds a day, I'm figuring. And, and there's every one. And yeah, there's the other. There's the two I'm going to get for sure. And then once I feed these, there'll be uh, four more in the backyard. Two that are as old as the ones I had fixed. And then, all right, girls and boys, now, hey, come on, everybody out. You know, you're not going to get fed here. That's for Cleo if he's feeling frisky. All right, here we go. Come on, girls and boys. Oh, you little kittens are so cute. Tucker, GGB, there's Floyd, Louie, ah, uh, shit, Juju, no, which one are you, can I bet you, no, maybe you're one I need to catch, I don't know, fixed, two, I mean, look, see, I can pet them. I'm not going to try to pick him up yet because I get one shot, you know. And I got to make sure I do like the day before they got to go in. Oh, and there's Shiloh. That's my girl right there. Shiloh doesn't mind being petted, but she always gets pushed out of the bowl. Huh, Shiloh. Huh, you never know which bowl to go to. Like you and Sydney. Now I got to go do Sydney and... A couple other cats. This isn't the only gang. These are the guys over here waiting. Yeah, I know. So, here we go. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to get out of here. A lot of crap going on. Alright, so here we go with you. And you. And no digging at the bowl. Yeah, Bernie likes to... Oh, there you are, Cleo. I thought you were in the house. All right, since you're out here, you get a little something, something. There's one more bull. And then the morning, I usually go over and do the bull behind the back doors of the main house, but... There you guys go. Oh, and I'll be feeding. Is that one right there needs to be fixed? That one right there. They're two of Mama Cat's kittens, and aren't they beautiful? Are you a good-looking girl? Yeah, I get closer every day. Someday you'll be mine, and you'll be fixed. They all look pregnant, but I haven't heard any cat wallering out. They're just... I'm feeding them pretty good, because it's going to be a cold winter. Anyway, I can see... I know you call him Kiki, but I call him Cleely. <laughs> Come on, buddy, it's good. You're a good boy. Yeah, I know you are. Oh, wait, no. Who is that? Shadow? Oh, it's Pepper. One of the backyard. Oh, that's <laughs> Otto. How you doing, Otto? Are you the good boys? Well, you, I know. I know. You're close, but not quite. You get hungrier, you'll be inside. They've all been inside. The last five have all been inside to eat. The last two chickens put to bed. They get scratched, all kinds of extra treats now. You can turn on the Christmas lights and shit. Right 
here's the first one. That lights up that shit up there. course in the Christmas time you don't want to use your regular porch lights. We got these going on. Now normally I got timers but I got shit loads of them. I just get too damn lazy. Plus I like getting out here and seeing what's what around the house. Yeah the garden looks good. Got that all painted and repaired, it looks good. Oh. Still got flowers growing everywhere. That's, well, those are fake, but those are real. Oh, this poor rug, I'm just gonna kick it over in the corner. I've straightened it about five times today. The old truck's still running. Okay, everything looks good. If I turn this light off in real time, it's pretty bright out here. I put the cats thing in the chicken coop because oh, I'm sure they get plenty of water in the winter. And then these guys have got this rain barrel set up. And so I've got a hose running out of here that throws in there if it gets too full because this third barrel is full of pretty clean water and I don't want to fuck it up. This is the overrun and I probably should, should switch but we're going to have rain tomorrow so I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, it's just going to run back into that greenhouse so it'll be alright. Hi <laughs> girls and boys. Oh my goodness. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Well, maybe you're the same one. Okay, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, Shiloh. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Not counting the three or four that are in the back door of the house. Oh, shit. Shed door. No, oh, I got it. Okay, put a bolt in this because it's windy as fuck. There we go. Check on them one more time. Make sure there's no holes around here where somebody's been getting in. Hi, right, Cleefy boy. You ready to come in? We leave that open because I'm tired of the cats jumping around it. It wakes me up at night. Kiki. Oh, and there's some more dead squirrel. I know you can't see all this, but come on. <laughs> You're a good boy. You know it's either in or out, because I'm going to bed pretty quick. Oh, wait. Leave that on. Let's see. Okay, these are for the idiots, and you guys are just a little protein drink in the morning. That is Tootsie's. That's for the stray cats, and this is yours. And I know you hate having it. Oh, my gosh. You can see the bottom. <laughs> Hold on. i got to put you down. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. can see silver down there. Oh, that's terrible. I can't give this cat here Tootsie too much because she throws up real easy. And she was just pretty damn sick. But her and I hung out hard, you know how it is. And she's better. But she's back by where she was. She does have something about it. I think just, I always just thought it was she eats too much, too fast. And she is the fattest cat around. Of course, Louie is the heaviest cat. And he's the one that bitches the most about getting in here. Can't believe that, dude. But, at any rate, I was really glad to get the, all the uh, interviews done and all that. And I've got a physical on the 14th. So, yeah, that catches you up pretty much to what I've been doing. Ah. And it must be your meditation that got you to see your cousin. That's the way the universe works. 
At least I think so.